good time to get organized. Have you thought about digital estate planning? for your social media and online banking accounts. Our guest today is Craig Dale. He is an estate planning attorney, has an office in Salt Lake City and also Park City. This is something I don't think a lot of our viewers, including me, have thought about. What is digital estate planning, Craig? No, so when most people think about estate planning, traditionally what they'll think about is wills and trusts. Most people don't think about those digital assets that they have. And the thing is, is that our lives live on the internet, essentially, digitally. More and more every single year. Yes, correct. So what would be a digital asset that we would have? So let's say, for instance, email, number one, online banking accounts, your social media, maybe making your mortgage payments, your car payments, uh, your gas payments. I mean, everything. Think about it. You have a login and password for every single thing account that you have. Do you have clients say to you, I never even thought that I needed to plan for those things if something happened? Yes. So usually when I'm speaking with clients, I'm going through a consultation, I'll say, so what about your digital assets? And they're like, what do you mean by that? Right. And I'm like, well, if something were to happen to you, let's say um, you have a disability um, and you can't, um, and you can't um, use your, you can't think mm -hmm. um, for some reason or another, like you develop early onset dementia or you pass away, how is your family going to access these accounts to pay the bills? It is a good question that I'm sure most people say, wait a second, that is something I need to think about. So what should our viewers do? What should we do with our digital assets? So one thing that I recommend is, is to write down your, all of your logins and passwords um, and put them somewhere very safe. For instance, put them maybe in your safe, put them in a safety deposit box. Also, there's other ways to store your passwords as well. There's different apps out there that allow for you to have a login and a password. Um, but the important thing is, is that someone needs to know how to get into that app or someone needs to know where those logins and passwords are located. The worst thing you want to do is go through all that energy of writing down your usernames and your passwords and no one be able to find them. So you need to tell someone, point. tell so someone where. What we where. do is, is that we'll incorporate that in the plan in their portfolio binder, we have a portion which um, says logins and passwords, essentially, and put it there. Or most importantly, let that trustee, let your lawyer, let your uh, child know, whoever's going to be that responsible person for stepping in in the event that you can't. Craig, do I have to remember my passwords in order to write them down and put them somewhere? <laughs> most people don't. <laughs> I know, that's the problem. So how does that digital estate plan help your family have peace of mind? So it makes for a smooth transition. Mm -hmm. So in the event of inca incapacity of a loved one, everyone's just frantic, the emotions are high, or the death of a loved one. So this makes for a seamless, easy process for the family just to step in and execute on those accounts and have access. Even the password to get into your phone if something should happen and no one can get into your phone. I mean, that, I'm sure you see that no. happen all the time. What should people do if they have questions? If they have questions, we have a fantastic website. It's called, you can go to craigdell.com or craigdellattorneys.com. They can also call us at 801-783-2515. Um, I'm happy to help in any way that I can. I think you have people sitting out there right now going, this is something I never thought of and I need to. craigdellattorneys.com, everybody. That address right there on your screen. You can also go to abc4.com slash midday and we will link you to Craig's information. Thank you so much.